your town and this is the episode of the arts are the answer a monthly showcase of lots of different wonderful programs organizations events that really make monterey county the best place in the world to live to work and to play and i'm joined here today by a number of wonderful programs and we're loosely talking about interdependence all the different uh, sources that are coming from the broader world into Monterey County and make our place so, so, so great. And we're starting right now with the Peruvian Cultural Committee and one of the founding organizers, Victoria Vidal. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for inviting me. Tell us about how you got your, your committee. How did it get started? What was your goal? Yeah, well, actually it's only a group of volunteers that get together in order to celebrate the Peruvian Independence Day, Wonderful. which is the July the 28th. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, you know, we celebrate it a little bit before, a little bit after, <laughs> you know, but this year we are going to celebrate the very same day, right. Saturday, uh, uh, July the 28th. And mm -hmm. is everyone on your committee from Monterey County? Or are they coming from all over? Uh, mostly, yeah. mostly are from Monterey County, but other people are from Santa Cruz County. Uh, some other people come from the Bay Area, uh, from San Francisco, San Jose. Yeah, but uh, we all get together at the John Stavik Library in Salinas mm -hmm. in order to celebrate. They are very kind to give us the facilities uh, every single time that we request it, and we appreciate it, and we are very thankful for that. So that's phenomenal, and this is your second or third the time? The fourth. Fourth time already. Oh, yes. wonderful. Yeah, yeah, we started in 2014, but we mm -hmm. didn't do anything last year. Okay. Yeah. But uh -huh. this next year is going to be fantastic. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> of course. Yeah. Wonderful. So, yeah. so when people come, they're going to come to the John Steinbeck Library in Salinas. Yes. And what is going to happen? So if people want to come, that sounds good, but what, what, what will they see? Okay. Uh, usually, uh, and this year too, uh, we have about two hours plus, you uh -huh. know, because nobody kicked them <laughs> 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 Nobody does. <laughs> so they let us stay there. But they usually it's from noon to 2 p.m., uh -huh. but we stay for a longer period of time. Um, yeah. uh, we have, you know, more music and things like that. I you know, know, we just transformed the library into a little uh, corner of Peru. Oh, we so bring good. music, yeah. dancers, food, everything is for free, you know, that's, that's why we get together yeah. as volunteers, you know, to pitch in and make yeah. it happen and it's for the community to enjoy and also to know that we are neighbors of this community. Hey, we are the Peruvians here. Yeah. You know, that's uh, what we eat. What, uh, those are our dances. This is our music or songs, you know. So that's uh, a, little, um, a little bit of time where we just uh, stand up and say that. Here we are. Yeah, here we are. Here we are, and it's so wonderful for all of us to be able to um, to really learn so much about uh, things that we might have certain ideas like we think we know, and then we come and discover what's really there. Yes. So can you talk a little bit about how um, the music might be a little different from what people would, yes, might anticipate? Yes, it is. Uh, we, uh, we have music from the Andes, uh -huh. which are we call it Wainos. You know, and there are different kind of instruments also. Oh, and uh, we also had the criollo music that uh -huh. uh, has uh, guitars, castañuelas, cajon, you know. Uh -huh. And then we had the quijada de burro, you know, like the jaw, oh, or the, or the, or the uh, donkey, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, that sounds, you know, it's as boom. It's wonderful, yeah. Yeah, yeah so yeah. it's yeah. kind of different, very yeah. different. You know, the um, African Peruvian dances are very, uh, very fun to dance and to watch, you know, a lot of movement, and it's very authentic. Um, it's, it, I, I really love it. <laughs> oh, that's great. And do yeah. you dance yourself as well? Yeah, everybody oh. is invited to dance, oh. you know. So I'm not one of the dancers, I'm not a professional, <laughs> but when the time comes, you know, yeah. where everybody gets together and the music is there and there's always a leader you know sometimes okay, that's yeah, <laughs> that, uh, yeah 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 the, in the past years we had a, a dance teacher you know oh, that was going to lead oh. everybody yeah. you know and dancing yeah, and yeah. and everybody can come in and and dance you know so 
It's, it's beautiful. That's phenomenal. <coughs> what I love about these kinds of things is that, that all the elements will be there, food, dance, music, but the details are unique. The details are really special to whoever is the organizers, whoever is pulling it all together. And um, so what, what draws your volunteers? They're, they're, they're already busy. They already have so much to do, so much to think about. What do you think motivates them to be a part of your team? Uh, most of us are Peruvians. Uh -huh. And we miss our country, oh, of course. you yeah. know, and yeah. uh, we want to do something. Yeah. And doesn't matter how much we have to spend because everything is for free for the public. So you're also, in addition to donating your time, yes, you're we donate also our donating money. resources to make it happen. Yeah, wow. we donate the food and everything. Oh, and we, we oh. ourselves cook that day, oh, you know. Amazing. So, yeah, so it's like uh, this year <laughs> I already request three <laughs> days in advance, That's you know, all for yeah. my, from my job because uh, we had to go and decorate the library uh, you know so uh, we had to be there we had to cook we had to invite we had to be there you know so we do a whole bunch of things but we are so happy yeah doing that you know we feel like um, we're doing something for for our country you yeah. know and making um, people know about us, about yeah. our country, yeah. and you know, sometimes we got very bad news from sure. from Peru, yeah. and uh, we want to show that not everything is bad, you know. <laughs> so there is o there are other things more important that we had to show. And it's such a beautiful. I mean, for me, you know, we're always looking for the ways the arts are the answer, and this is such a gorgeous example. Yeah, maybe in the future we would like to to hire a teacher, you know, mm -hmm, a mm -hmm, dance mm -hmm. teacher, you know, yeah. to come. Maybe we would like to get the, a place to meet, yeah. you know, yeah. and uh, once per week or twice per month, mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know, have the classes so we will learn, yeah. you know, how to properly dance those beautiful dances. And how, where do the costumes come from? Um, actually, the dancers, you they know, the, they, they they are professionals. Them. They come with them. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's and, uh, yeah. Yeah. And we try to dress, you know, like uh, the colors of uh, our flag, uh -huh. which are white and and red. Uh -huh. So you know, it's like this, you know. So that. Uh, so so yeah. let me just let me just show everybody the beautiful poster that you have. Yes. Um, this is going to be such a gorgeous uh, production, the Peruvian Independence Day celebration, and right at that John Steinbeck Library, which is also gorgeous. I love that library. There's so much going on, yes. really. So yeah. uh, I imagine at one point, maybe you want an even bigger space, but <laughs> there's at least yes. there's plenty of room for everyone, right? Is there? Um, well, yeah, we'll we, we actually were thinking about that because last time we have uh, uh, more than 300 people. <laughs> I was wondering. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't know, uh, but you know, t at this point, you know, um, we had to think about something that is for free also. Yes. Yeah. You know, right. so right. we um, we are uh, we are expending too much money, you know, and we don't get anything back, sure, you know, sure. because uh, um, like I say, we just get you know together for this celebration. Yeah. And maybe in the future, you know, we we would like to do more things. Mm -hmm. You know, like um, like I say, you know, hire a dance teacher. Yeah. You know, have uh, some other activities. Mm -hmm. You know, throughout the year. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, but at this point, you know, we are very busy people, yeah. and that. Uh, yeah, that's what we are doing, just, you know, like that, it's but, phenomenal. you know, um, like, like, um, like you say, we had to think about a bigger place for, uh, for the future, too, because, I like that. I say, you know, we were, all together, we were more than 300 people, according to the records of the library. <laughs> Well, wow, that's phenomenal. And so um, there's a lot to look forward to this year, certainly. And what else can people think about when um, they're planning their day and they want to come? And uh, what, so there is going to be food there. Yes. So they don't even have to worry about lunch or anything. They can just no, come no, and, no. and try things. Yes. And um, do you already have a menu already planned? 
Um, in the past, we were offering uh, several dishes, you know. Mm -hmm. Somebody was going to be in charge of this and that, you know. Mm -hmm. But then um, we realized that doesn't matter how many dishes, you know, we offer, people don't get, um, like, happy with just, you know, a you're trying one or two. They want every oh. single thing in their <laughs> plate. Doesn't matter if it makes you know more time. So that's the tricky least, thing. Yeah, that uh, that makes us. Free. Yeah, <laughs> that make us. You know, think that maybe this year we will have a um, a lot of food for uh -huh. everybody, yeah. of course. But uh, we were thinking about carapulcra. You know, uh, and that it's that? Uh, uh -huh. carapulcra. It's a traditional uh, criollo uh, dish uh -huh. that we made with papa seca, which is a, a dry potato. Okay. You know, so yeah. uh, we use different kind of meat in there: pork, uh -huh. chicken, and beef. You know, so uh, maybe we will just go with one <laughs> <laughs> meat, you know, but, you know, we, we, we were doing, you know, the original, the original flavor ah, and everything. Really so um, then we will have um, some dessert mm -hmm. like alfajores. And, um, and how does that, so, and so you can picture it, but well, yes. we need to know what do you mean. So can you describe that? The alpha horse, yeah. they are, they are, um, they are uh, cookies, okay. you know, uh, stuffed with dulce de leche. Uh -huh. They are very uh, time-consuming project, sure, but sure. we were just doing for this yeah. time of the year. And then the, the chicha morada is a drink made out of purple corn. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so so that's what we're thinking, yeah. you know. Um, of course, with something side dishes, you know, to to get a complete meal. But that's what we're thinking this year to present just one dish, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. so everybody can enjoy w that one dish. Great. <laughs> yeah, that still sounds amazing. Yeah. So, um, uh, talk to us a little bit about when we think of Peru. Some of us may have, like, there, there is Peru, and, and we have some ideas about it. But really, as I learn more about the country, I realize how diverse Peru really is. Yes. And can you talk about that? So it, it must be that you're, well, I'm guessing that, that your committee members are also coming from different parts of yes. Peru. There's different things that they would say, this is the most special, <laughs> that's the most special. Um, can you talk a little bit about that diversity in Peru and in your committee? Yes, uh, for example, I'm from the Amazon jungle. Uh -huh. You uh -huh. know, I'm actually the only one that comes, oh, you know, from the Amazon river yeah. side, you know. Yeah. We're in the border with Brazil and Colombia. Uh -huh. And everything is different there. Yeah. We are more likely the, um, everything like uh, like the Brazilians, you okay. know, we are extremely happy. We like parties and <laughs> things like that. Uh, people from the Andes, you know, they are um, more shine, I would say, uh -huh. you know. The music is different, yeah, you yeah. know. It's kind of sad, oh, the winos, uh -huh. but also they have a very... Um, festive uh, dances and, and songs, mm -hmm. you know, and in the coast, you know, is the criollos, you know, that we had the criollo music, yeah, yeah. and we get all together, you know, and we present what we have. And uh, usually when, when we present the dances, we try to represent, you know, uh -huh. all the areas. So even in just a couple of hours, you're actually incorporating something from each of those major regions, yeah. and um, so showing us uh, a lot of Peru, yes. and that's that's amazing to do in such yes. a short time. Yes, and uh, the um, something that really made me happy is that many people that attend those uh, activities, mm -hmm. you know, they go, you know, every year. And most of them already went to Peru because oh, of that. Is that yeah. Right? Yes, yes, wow. yes. They contact us and they want to know how I'm, how can I do in order to do wow. this and that. I'll say, okay, you do this <laughs> and I do that. <laughs> yeah, so. That's yeah. phenomenal. Yeah. Oh, that's so good to hear. And uh, uh, for me, that's one of the greatest things about anything like this is, is people learning and discovering that that our world is 
so, so wonderful. And it's just up to us to, to go learn more and more all the time. Yes. And, and to get a sense of that. And to be able to do that through the food and through the dancing, um, I'm sure that it's inspiring them to learn more about the history and other kinds of things. Is there something, we just have a, a couple of minutes left, is, is there something about Peru that you just wish people knew? Um, well, like I said before, you know, sometimes uh, we are just, you know, um, having all this bad news about a country and sometimes there are people that don't even know you know yeah. where the country is but then when yeah. they know it's because something bad happened that's you know the, that's the worst part the, about the news <laughs> uh, most of our ex-presidents are in jail oh. <laughs> <laughs> things like that you know so but behind that there is a lot of wonderful people yeah. a lot of um, uh, wonderful things you know yeah. to explore and we want to show that yeah. that and we also want to say we are your neighbors yeah. and that's who we are well thank you so much for your leadership in making these wonderful events happen and for sharing so much with us today and it's just been just a great great opportunity to talk to you today um, uh, is there any uh, any shout outs you want to give to any of your dancers or any of the committee members that are helping you this year? Uh, well, just to say thank you very much, you know, for uh, being there, for supporting all the ideas, and uh, we wish um, them to keep coming and supporting us for the years to come. And if there are more people who would like to come and, 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 and help us, well, we are here, they are work. That's so, so awesome. Okay, so I'm going to show the poster one more time, Saturday, July 28th, and from 12 to 2-ish, right? <laughs> it may go a little later if we're all lucky, and at this John Steinbeck Library. So a shout out to all the people who are involved in the Peruvian Cultural Committee for Monterey County. Um, and also the wonderful host, the John Steinbeck Library, for bringing such a wonderful celebration to our community that we may, we may all learn and we may all benefit in, in some great way. So thank you for being such a beautiful connector and, and helping, helping all of us to, to learn more and to, to connect with each other, our neighbors. Thanks <laughs> thank for inviting you. me. Thank you. Thank you.